So here's the big question. How are entrepreneurs like us, who have been hustling and struggling to make it to success, who seem to make it one step forward, only to fall two steps back, who are dedicated, determined, and driven, how do we finally break through and win? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Brian Kelly, and this is the Mind Body Business Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mind Body Business Show. I am so excited to bring you an incredible, very special guest tonight. His name is Chris Thistle, and this is a show that is going to be very near and dear to my heart because uh, tonight is going to be a little bit more serious than normal because the topic is serious. And what we're here to do uh, in my job is to help spread the word of what Chris has come up with uh, through all of his research and through his actual efforts and bona fide proof of what those efforts have done for him. And I cannot wait to bring him on here in just a second and let you know that there is hope. If you're suffering from cancer, the big C word, uh, maybe Parkinson's, epilepsy, Crohn's, autoimmune, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, the list goes on and on. And we're gonna get into it deep and help you to either help yourself or those that you know, either those that you love or those that you're acquainted with. And I can't wait to share this uh, this young man's brilliance and genius with you. He's gone, gone far and above and beyond what a, most people, if and I dare I say maybe every single person in America has done to research and get the answers and then put them into place so that you can get the results that you're looking for. And yeah, this is going to be a controversial show because we are going to say things that cannot be put in writing. It's going to be interesting. And so I'm not going to go through a lengthy introduction of this show. We're going to get right into it this time and bring on our special guest expert, Chris Thistle. Here he comes. It's time for the guest expert spotlight. Savvy, skillful, professional, adept, trained, big league, qualified. And yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. And you'll want to know this guy and this guy's name. So I highly, highly recommend that you take out notes, a notepad and a pen and start writing notes. Write down his name. We're going to put up his website. He's got some incredible resources, some life-saving information and product for you. And just to be absolutely clear, I stand to make zero money from this. This has nothing whatsoever to do with my making money in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it's here to. It, we are here to help save your life. And because of this man, not because of me, I just want to bring this guy out to the public and shout him from the rooftops. Because Chris, you know, you and I, we've talked on the phone. You were very, very wonderful about spending hours on the phone with me and. Um, answering all of our questions and getting us the formulation we needed to take care of ailments uh, in my family. And I appreciate that so very much. Uh, you're just an amazing, amazing guy. Before I really dive in and introduce you formally and we get diving into this, uh, quick couple of things for um, housekeeping. And that is, look, we're still going to have a little bit of fun here. And for those of you that stay on live to the end, you can win a five-night stay at a five-star luxury resort. And that is all compliments of the big insidersecrets.com. You see that red logo up there if you're watching on video. If you're listening on podcast, it's the big insidersecrets.com. They enable us to give away one of these vacation stays each and every show. It's an amazing, amazing gift. And then a couple more. Here we go. Yes. If you're struggling with putting a live show together and it's overwhelming and you want a lot of the processes done for you while still enabling you to put on a high quality show and to connect with great people like Chris Thistle and 
grow your business all at the same time, then head on over to carpetbombmarketing.com. Mm -hmm. That is Carpet Bomb Marketing. Saturate the marketplace with your message. And finally, one of the key components that is contained in the Carpet Bomb Marketing courses, one that you'll learn how to absolutely master, is the very service we use to stream our live shows right here and, and right now on the Mind Body Business Show. And over the course of the past, it's been over nine years now, I've tried so many <laughs> solutions, television studio type solutions for live streaming. And StreamYard is the best of the best, bar none. It combines supreme ease of use along with unmatched functionality. So start streaming high quality, professional looking live shows for free with StreamYard now. Now I implore of you to write things down as we go through instead of clicking away. So go ahead and write this down, ryp.im forward slash stream live, ryp.im forward slash stream live. Write that down and stay with us because the man of the hour is back with us now, Chris Thistle. And I'm going to do give him a proper introduction because it's what he deserves uh, by far. Thank Chris you. Thistle is a former paramedic with a master's degree in health science while also minoring in microbiology. He's a smart puppy. This gave Chris the medical and plant knowledge needed to create Thistle Therapies. It's a company that focuses solely on the medicinal uh, customization of cannabinoid remedies. That's a, that's a tongue twister, Chris. Chris <laughs> tailors his products to an individual specific diagnosis. This is, this is a game changer. Uh, with their symptoms or overall health goals by utilizing 17 unique cannabinoids, 75 cannabis-derived terpenes, and an ever-growing list of vitamins, supplements, and nootropics. I hope I'm saying all this right. Having helped over 500 people that's 500, and animals as well to reclaim their quality of life, uh, Chris is ready to bring his proprietary method of healing to the masses. You're gonna wanna listen to this all the way through. So Chris, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your busy, I know you're a busy man, uh, working very hard to get this uh, incredible product out to the masses. So thank you uh, for being here and uh, thank you for spending time. Me. Yeah, so let's jump right into it. Um, you know, I'm sure some people saw or heard cannabinoid and then this word called cannabis. So let's just address the elephant in the room right off the bat. So what you do, Chris, uh, it's it's primarily just to get people high, correct? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. And it's it's anything farther. It couldn't be farther from the truth. And I've been in a CBD company. Uh, I wasn't looking to go into a CBD company. It, it's a long story how it happened. But as a result, I, edu I, I became very educated in it and realized that there are still many uh, entities out there that block the, um, the commercialization, I guess is a good word to put it, of things like CBD oil, things that are not drugs, things that are not going to cause any uh, altering of your mind whatsoever. It's just going to cause great things. But what is going on with that, Chris? Why are so many, uh, what, it's the FDA as one example I'm guessing is saying, yep. you know, can't have this on just merchant accounts. This I know for a fact, merchant accounts shy away from CBD oil of any kind. They yep. say you cannot even have, a, which means you can't process credit cards to take orders with our merchant uh, provider. Uh, I, I ran into that. So what is up with that, Chris? Honestly, I think um, Big Pharma has a big hand in it um, because so many people are getting off medications. They're, you know, shying away from traditional medicine that just gives them another side effect and a side effect on top of that. And they need a, a new medication and another medication, um, you know, and Big Pharma is losing a lot of money and they have a lot of pull. Um so honestly, I think it all goes back to big pharma. And let, let's address that one head on. I, and I want everyone to hear the answer to this is, um, and I got Chris's okay to have this chat before we started. I don't in any way want to jeopardize what Chris is doing. I want to be very careful about that. But if we say it versus write it, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Chris, I wanted to ask you straight up, 
uh, do cannabinoids, uh, mixtures of those uh, with uh, the things that you're, you work with, have you seen them cure cancer? Absolutely. hundred percent. Yep. Not CBD or THC by itself, but combinations of the correct cannabinoids, terpenes, supplements, combine that all together and you can cure cancer. So I want to be very clear, everyone. You heard that. Yes, you can cure cancer. That's amazing. Hey, Tim Gillette, thank you for coming on. I love the support. Please, everyone, share this now, immediately, if you uh, are so inclined, because this is life-saving information. Yes, Jason Nass, he's on the live, and he has lots of questions. Good. I can't wait to hear him. And uh, Lisa Testa, thank you for coming on. I have contacts to a merchant services company that will allow you to take credit card for CBD. Yeah, we've <laughs> seen them. They're out there, but they're far and few between. Yeah. And that's a weird thing. It's part of the part of the reason I wanted to have you on here, Chris, is also to educate everyone <clears throat> about not there is no harmful nature in in the products you formulate at all. Nope. There's no hallucinogenic anything in them. Um, and I know this personally, and I will say it now. I myself am a customer and I take the CBD oil that Chris had formulated originally for my wife. And in fact, I, I, there is zero, uh, what is the, what is it called when you get high on marijuana? Psychoactivity. Psychoactivity. Euphoria. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm euphoric just cause you're on, but you know, that's <laughs> beside the point. But yeah, so there's none of that going on whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, and it's a hundred percent legal. It's not a drug. It nope. is, it's a miracle plant. It, it all comes from that plant that we all know, we all love. We've seen the jagged leaves, the marijuana plant, and it has so many amazing, uh, when you start researching this, now that your mind is open to it, all of you watching and listening, you're going to be blown away with the magical properties. And, and Chris, we're going to talk about some of them. I hope uh, tonight we get to that because yep. it's unbelievable. Uh, what a wonderful plant this is and what it can do not only for humans, but for <laughs> uh, farms, uh, for nuclear fallout situations that I've learned. Uh, just it goes on and on and on. And so what took you down this path? Let's back up a little bit. You, you have a great past, uh, you know, with your degrees. You mm -hmm. became a paramedic. I mean, what was that like being a paramedic and helping people in that field? It, it was a thankless job, definitely. Um, you know, it was tough. I mean, I, I love helping people, um, but paramedics and EMT should definitely um, be treated better than they are. Um, they do work very hard and don't really get much for their job, you know, um, especially when I started out as an EMT basic. You know, it gets a little better as you go up the ladder, obviously, you know, EMT intermediate, um, and then you become a paramedic, but um, they are thankless jobs and you see cr a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, especially, um, you know, working in Boston, um, you know, working in the tougher cities. Um, and then there's people, you know, the paramedics that work in, you know, the real tough cities in New York and stuff, and they might go and try to treat a gang member and they get shot at, you know, so it, it's, it's a thankless job, you know? And it, it, it's, it's somewhat upside down in my opinion, uh, based, you know, there's, there's what you did paramedics. There are police, of course, yeah. they're under massive scrutiny. And I think it's uh, really un unfortunate, uh, police who do the same thing, put their lives on the line every day, people in the military who have enlisted because, they're only there because they enlisted. They volunteered to go into that. Teachers who teach our kids. I think all of these vital, vital vocations are so vastly underpaid and underappreciated. Mm -hmm. And I love that. So you came from that whole, and the reason I brought this whole thing up was you come from a place of loving to help people. Yep. And Definitely. it was a thankless job. You still did it for what? Seven and a half, eight years? Yeah, even almost then. eight years, yeah. Long and then. Time. What steered you to what you're doing now from that point? So basically, um, I had an uncle who had Parkinson's and, you know, I was always, you know, interested in, you know, cannabis becoming legal and all that. Um, always kept up with the laws and, you know, was interested in 
you know, the whole facet, all the f- different facets of, you know, cannabis. Um, I used it when I was a teenager. I mean, I, I don't really smoke cannabis right now, but I do use my custom formulas. Um, but anyways, um, I had picked up a CBD vape, you know, years and years ago at a trade show, you know, one of these trade shows that I used to go to all the time. And I brought it over to my uncles and um, my, his wife, my aunt, you know, held it to his mouth and let him take a couple puffs off, um, off that vape. And after about five minutes, all his tremors stopped. Um, he was completely normal. And once I seen that, there was no stopping, you know, I was off to the races, you know, looking, reading everything that I could find. And that's one of the things that impressed me so much about you, uh, Chris, is your your absolute undying uh, way of studying and never stopping mm-hmm. until you've gotten all the answers. And the interesting thing when we were talking, and you, you shared this with both myself and my wife when we we're on the phone, is you, you're looking at a place that I never would have expected uh, that would be the, the go-to region of the world yeah. for expertise in how to formulate to help heal the body. So where is that? And tell us a little bit about that research and what it has done as a result uh, of doing that research for you. So, you know, the top tier, you know, research is coming out of Israel. Um, I know that might be surprising to a lot of people, but there is a scientist named Ralph Meshulam, uh, and he is actually called the godfather of the endocannabinoid system. Um, he discovered how to um, <clears throat> separate THC from the entire plant, you know. So basically, all this extraction and everything that's going on today, you know, and they're making, you know, THC distillate or just straight CBD isolate. Um, they have him to thank. And he's also discovered how to synthesize cannabinoids um, in a lab setting. So literally create. CBD or THC or CBN, whatever, out of nothing. Um, so all of their research, is, you know, and on top of that, they have federal grants. They're backed by money, which the United States doesn't do because of the legality of cannabis. So when they have that federal grant to back them up and then they have a, you know, top of the line scientists like uh, Dr. Meshelin, you know, they can really come up with some amazing things. Yeah, and, and that's so cool because according to what you've researched, there's nobody else in the United States, as far as you know, that is going as deep as you are by modeling what they found in Israel. Is that yeah. interesting? So basically, um, you know, I look at all these different companies um, and, and even research companies in the United States, um, you know, everybody's just focused on two cannabinoids, THC and CBD. I mean, you might find, you know, CBG, uh, cannabigerol, you know, you might find that in a few stores um, that's starting to become popular. But, um, you know, just those two cannabinoids, CBD and THC, people act like that's the end all be all of cannabis. And, um, it's not because there's over 150 different cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant, each one with their own, you know, uh, medicinal benefits. And I carry the 17 most medically beneficial cannabinoids. Um, so that sets me apart right there. And then uh, 75 different cannabis derived terpenes. Um, you know what a terpene is, Brian? We discussed that. Oh, I think you explained it to me once, but I'd love to hear it again because I don't recall. <laughs> so <laughs> that's all right. Um, so terpenes are found in every single plant. They're actually found in some insects as well. Um, there's over 20,000 different terpenes in the world. There's over 300 found in cannabis alone. And they're responsible for the aroma and the flavor of a plant, which a, a lot of people that know about terpenes, they think it's just the aroma or the flavor. Um, but they also provide medicinal properties. So um, a long time ago, Native Americans and even people to this day all over the world, they go out and they collect different herbs and roots and plants and combine them together to treat different ailments. 
well, the reason why they're so specific when they choose their ingredients is because of the terpenes that are found inside those ingredients. Now, like a modern day version of that would be, let's say, Brian, you walk into a medical dispensary and you go up to the counter and you say, you know, hey, I have anxiety. <clears throat> and they say, OK, here, you try this strain of cannabis. And then I walk up and I say, hey, I have migraines. And they say, here, you try this strain of cannabis. And they give me something different. Now, the reason why they're giving us different things is because those different strains have different terpenes. So I get those extracted from the cannabis plants, you know, all different strains. And that allows me to add whatever properties, you know, my patients, you know, quote unquote, FDA doesn't like that word. Um, but, you know, my customer patients, whatever you want to call them, um, whatever they need, I can add through the use of terpenes. And then the final part that I think is really setting me apart from everybody else is, you know, the vitamins, the supplements and, and nootropics. <laughs> so, you know, that allows me to really take it a whole another step further. And, you know, adding things like that in there, when you add that to terpenes and cannabinoids, you only need micro doses of these, you know, different um, supplements and whatnot, because the terpenes and the cannabinoids increase the bioavailability, you know, tenfold, at least. So creating these custom formulas, you know, that are tailored to different people's, you know, illnesses, um, nobody's doing that. And I just want that, you know, want this to spread. And, you know, I, I currently have customers in Thailand, um, Peru, Brazil, London, um, and all across the U.S. But, you know, there definitely needs to be more people that know that something like this is out there because everybody is just, you know, going into CBD stores and just buying CBD isolate for $200 a bottle, which is outrageous. And, um, you know, or they're, you know, going into dispensaries and when they buy cannabis, all they're doing is going off the THC content. They're going to buy the, you know, the weed with the uh, highest THC. Oh, that one has 27%. That one has 22%. Nope. I'm buying the one with 27% THC. That's the wrong way to buy cannabis. You know, so there, there's a lot of education that still needs to go on. So let, let's address that as far as the THC. You just reminded me of RSO, uh, short for Rick Simpson Oil, that became very, very uh, prominent. If you were to research cannabis and cancer together, that will probably come up more than anything uh, these days. And uh, one of the things that it does, because it has an intense amount of THC, is it really, really makes you high. And I saw a documentary on this and uh, watched uh, from patients who had taken it. It worked for them. It did a great job. And there were two main differences of uh, well, several, but one was the, the amount that they needed to ingest. The other was the cost. Uh, I did a little research and found that, so it's normally a 90 day protocol as I understand it. 60 or 90. And 60 or 90. Yeah. And a, which would involve what I was researching around 60 grams in total of RSO. And that came at a price tag of around $6,000. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking a 60 to 90 day application, which, you know, for me, if I have a loved one, I don't care how much it costs. I'll, I'll go to the ends of the earth and raise the money somehow, some way it'll happen. But $6,000 just to put that in perspective. Yep. And then you have something like this where, you know, this is a 30 day supply. It's tiny. And that's what you were just saying that, you, you know, it doesn't take that great of amount, you know, yeah. half a dropper, half an eyedropper once a day is all it takes. And this is it. You don't have to inject anything. You don't have to smoke anything. It doesn't taste horrible. Even if it did, who cares if your life's <laughs> on the line, but it doesn't, it doesn't taste horrible in my humble opinion. And, uh, and it doesn't cost $6,000. So, and if it's okay, if I share Chris, yep. what this, he just talked about, traditional cbd which is what one cannabinoid yeah that's it well, well it depends i mean there's cbd isolate which only has one cannabinoid it's isolated cbd that's it just cbd um then there's broad spectrum which has almost all of the cannabinoids minus all of the thcs so no thc 
So those two you you won't fail a drug test for. And then there's full spectrum, which has every cannabinoid in it, um, albeit in very, very small amounts. Um, and it has up to 0.3% THC. So, um, you know, the full spectrum is a little bit more medicinal than isolate all you know singular cannabinoid by itself but um it still doesn't have enough of the other cannabinoids to be effective um you know it's still i just look at those you know isolate broad spectrum and full spectrum just as basic um cbd tinctures you know yeah and the comparison is something like that that did not have the knowledge behind it, the mixture, the formulation that Chris does from his research from Israel, from his proven results. This is what really matters to me is not all of the stuff that went into it, although that is important. And I don't want to you know, dilute that at all because of the work you put in, Chris, but it's the result you're getting from that and from these wonderful concoctions. So this is very specific. Uh, you had this made for my wife and yep. this this goes back to a story where, and this is my copy of it. It has my name on it too. He does, look at that. It's even got my name. That's pretty cool. So I know that this is mine. Uh, you've also supplied some for both my dad and my mom. And they yep. each have their own separate formulation as well. And they are now actively consuming that. And uh, it's phenomenal. But 19, uh, let's see, 12 years ago, I lost my mom. And she had battled breast cancer for 16 years. A long time. Sorry to hear that. She went through chemo multiple times, radiation, you name it. It was it was horrendous. Uh, and just loved those days where she wasn't feeling horrible, which anyway, uh, back then I knew nothing about and probably wasn't that prevalent as far as Israel RSO. I don't know if that even existed. I don't know when it came out, uh, but I did research. This is my mom, right? And I found this stuff that I can only describe as dirt water. It was it came in a, a little of those cur jars. And yep. it just had this light brown look to it. And it was a full jar. Um, you know, one of those, um, what do you call those? Those uh, mason jars? Yeah, mason jar. Okay. Um, yeah. And just it just came that way. Somebody formulated it. And, you know, it didn't look appetizing. It didn't look tasty. And that wasn't the reason. But I decided I'm going to buy double. And I'm going to drink it next to her, alongside of her, as a yeah. healthy human being to see if there are any adverse effects to me. You know, because obviously if you're already weakened from chemo and everything else, it may be magnified, the, the results yeah. that, of the side effects. So I wanted to be there with her and also experience the whole thing, the taste, the, all of it. It was nasty. But again, if your life's on the line, who cares what it tastes like, looks like, how you ingest it, as long as it saves your life. Now, and, was, that from, uh, was that from cannabis? No. Oh, okay. And I, I don't recall what it was from. Uh, and, it, you know, it had... Apparently, I don't know if it had any effect at all. I, I have no way of knowing. Uh, yeah. She was advanced. She was, uh, had a lot of lymph nodes involved from the very get-go. Uh, 16 years is quite a testament to, mm -hmm. you know, striking that long with what she had. Definitely. But the whole point of that is, you know, I wanted to be there by her side and experiencing whatever it is she's experiencing the best I could. Even uh, she lost her hair, so I shaved my head bald uh, to support her. And That's then my good. dad, my son followed suit. So we were a, a nice bald family. It was pretty cool. Uh, but that was all out of support. And so, you know, full circle to today, a uh, similar thing is happening now. And next time I'm on the air, you might see me bald. And we'll, we'll, we'll it's because of my wife. You know, she's going through it now. And uh, luckily it's caught pretty, pretty quick. But I'm, I am actually taking the same exact formulation she is alongside of her. That is why I wanted to explain all that. And so... Um, and it, I've talked to you a lot about this, Chris, and here's one great way to summarize how to treat this, how to think about this. It is basically a supplement. Yep. Dietary supplement. It's a, supplement. It's a yep. miracle plant that has been, had, had its beautiful parts extracted based on education, based on knowledge, based on research, based on actual results of right. how people reacted. So let's talk about a few results. Um, let's talk about, you gave a great story about an individual that had uh, been diagnosed with stage four, that's the highest, latest stage, pancreatic yep. cancer. Now, when people hear pancreatic or lung, they instantly think death sentence. Yep. So, so what okay. happened with this one? 
So back in 2018, I actually was um, an owner of a CBD store in Massachusetts um, with partners, you know, no longer part of that business, um, you know, just focusing on my thistle therapies now. But back then, um, you know, I always worked the front, always dealt with all the customers because of my medical knowledge. And um, this woman came in and she walked right up to me and she said, what do you have um, to make me feel comfortable? She didn't want to try to treat anything. She just wanted to, you know, go out and spend her last days as comfortable as possible. She wasn't going to do chemo. She wasn't going to do radiation. Um, she told me she had four tumors on her pancreas, stage four cancer. Um, so I said to her, before you give up, you know, let me try to make a custom formula for you. And after me, you know, explaining how it works and everything, um, you know, she agreed. And I actually used, um, you know, base formula of full spectrum CBD. And I added in the cannabinoid CBG, cannabigerol, which is the stem cell of all cannabinoids. Um, so when you have a cannabis plant growing um, before it has THC, before it has CBD, before it has CBN, CBC, you know, any of these 150 different cannabinoids, um, it's all CBG. And then throughout different stages of its life cycle, it gets hit with different enzymes and amino acids. And those um, CBG molecules turn into THC or CBD or, you know, so on and so forth. And at full maturity, there's less than 1% uh, remaining of CBG. I get that extracted. And when a human, you know, ingests that, it's like taking the plant equivalent of stem cell therapy. Now, what it can do in this woman's case is, um, as far as cancer, is when the um, cancer goes to metastasize, it needs to grow a new tumor somewhere else. You know, it's going to spread, needs to grow a new tumor, maybe in her lung or, you know, wherever it wants to go. Now, for that to happen, um, something called angiogenesis needs to occur. Angiogenesis, angiogenesis is the creation of new blood vessels. So you need those blood vessels, you know, feeding that tumor to keep it alive. Now, CBG actually inhibits that process. So by putting CBG in her formula, I knew that the cancer would not spread or get any worse. I mean, I know stage four is pretty bad, but you didn't want to have it, you know, spreading through her entire body. That's the first part of, you know, healing somebody is, you know, containing it. And then um, I use something called CBC, cannabichromine which causes apoptosis, which is cell death in cancer cells, uh, actually eats them from the outside in. And then um, the terpene limonene, which is found in uh, citrus fruits. So um, that's why a lot of people that uh, have cancer get uh, vitamin C infusions. Um, that actually creates a secondary cell wall around the cancer cells and stops them from rep uh, replicating. Well, anyways, I made that formula for the woman, <clears throat> and after three months, she came in, she walked right up to me, and gave me a hug, and she started crying, and I thought, oh, this is it, you know, she's only has a couple of days remaining or something like that, but I, you know, started talking to her, and she wasn't upset at all, she was very happy, um, she told me that she just had three of her tumors removed, and, you know, once they remove your tumors, obviously they send them down to the pathology lab to see, you know, what's going on with them. Um, her doctor removed them because they had shrunk uh, over 60 percent. And when he sent them to the pathology lab, he seen that there were, you know, there was this coating around the tumors and there was, you know, another molecule that was, you know, drilling its way inside the tumors. And then he asked her what she is, you know, what, what have you been taking? That's what that, um, so she told him that, you know, the owner of the CBD store made me a custom formula with this, that, and the other thing. And he said, well, you better go and give him a hug because he saved your life. So she, she came in and gave me a hug. Um, 
I told her, you know, you got to continue on this formula, stay, you know, keep taking the same thing. So she kept taking it. And then four months later, that final tumor, it disappeared on its own. It didn't even need surgery. And she's still doing fine to this day. Four months. Well, no, it, it, it was seven months total. It was three total, months. Right. Yeah, three months for the first three uh, tumors and then four months for the final one to completely disappear. My goodness. And was she basically ingesting droppers full of a formulation yeah. you'd yeah. given her? Same exact thing. Yeah. And it, I love this. I love the, the actual stories of, you know, this is, you can't, yes, could he make this up? Yes, but he's not. Uh, there's no yeah. way. And one thing that really uh, rung true uh, with me about you, Chris, is, you know, I'm a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm always looking for helping uh, other business people to make more money. And you were very adamant in saying, I'm not doing this for the money. Mm. I'm doing this to help people, to save their lives. And so, uh, the, you know, I was going down the path of the price point of, you know, like Rick Simpson oil, which has had some, you know, darn right downright miraculous results similar to yeah. what you just described um but you know at six thousand dollars plus it gets you so high some of them some of the people i saw the documentary said that was the toughest part i had to get over that hump but it was to yeah. say that so they'll do anything they, they needed they were hallucinating they had so much oh that yeah. was the other thing even if it were thc laden the the drug part the, the type that is psycho whatever you said active the psychoactive yeah. part yeah yeah if if it was that how many people in history that are you aware of that have ever overdosed and died off of marijuana or thc zero <laughs> there we go yeah so it's not possible anyone that's wondering if this is safe well number one it doesn't make you high number two it's safe you can't overdose so that's why i say think of this as more like a supplement but this is a let's call it a super supplement because it's saving lives uh and that's i'm excited i literally chris have goosebumps under my jacket right now um, I am so into this. I want the word spread so far and wide about what it is you do. I wanted to bring up another example because we do have actual a picture. A picture is worth a thousand words. Mm -hmm. And it goes in line with a question of a good friend of mine, Jason Nast, who brought it up. I'll pull it up on the screen here. And he said, uh, have you had luck with psoriasis and psor psoriatic arthritis treatment? I'll never make a doctor. I can't every day. Yeah. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. And so you had a, a particular young woman in that exact condition, correct? Yeah. So this woman, um, this is one of my customers in Peru. Um, she's had psoriatic arthritis probably. Uh, she's um, about 63 years old and she's had it for over 20 years now. And it, you know, obviously manifested in the form of pain but also she had the dry, you know, chappy, you know, chafed skin. Um, and it was covering her entire face, which, you know, obviously that that's going to take away from your quality of life. Um, you're not going to be able to feel comfortable in certain situations. Um, and all they were doing for traditional medicine was giving her topicals um, to essentially burn off the top layer of her dermis and um, hoping that it, would be healthy underneath and that's absolutely not the way you want to go about something on your skin um you know your skin is a reflection of how you're doing on the inside um how your internal systems are doing so you need to balance those out you need to you know achieve homeostasis and once you do that you can begin to have healthy looking skin um, but this woman, I told her to stop taking, you know, stop using that topical. And um, I created a special formula for her and not a topical, not anything, just something that she's ingesting. And after 30 days, um, the, the changes were miraculous. I mean, it, we have the other picture. Um, it, it's I mean, it's night and day. I, I was even shocked that it worked that well. Um, like she, she's almost completely clear uh her skin in that picture it, it it's still shocking to me to see that yeah. um yeah one more time for comparison for those of you watching and, and for those of you listening on podcast after the show uh, i i highly urge you to come over to the mind body business show.com the mind body business show.com go to past shows and you can pull up this show with chris thistle 
and you'll be able to see these images uh, from there. So be sure to do that because we're showing the before picture. I mean, it looks painful. It looks yeah, horribly. It painful. really does. It's like scabs on her face, open sores, big, uh, all over, all over her face, her forehead, her cheeks. And we go to the after, and my gosh. It almost <laughs> looks like she has makeup covering everything, it right? It does. I mean, yeah, it, but it's not. <laughs> you know? it's, and, it's crazy. And, and that's what I wanted to impart upon everyone watching is this goes on. We could go on all night about the types of things that, uh, Chris has helped people with what he's helped to cure. Uh, and yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying cure. Why can't we say the word cure? I don't understand that. That just drives me nuts because it's not, everyone's afraid. Yeah, it's not FDA approved. So you can't act like it's a medicine. You can't say it's a medication. It cannot treat or cure anything. Um, you just can't say it. You know? And before, you know, and medicine in today's terms just means a chemically altered concoction of some kind <laughs> that usually does more harm than good. But I, I didn't say that, did I? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jason was saying the itching is what makes you crazy. So was she itching a lot? Oh yeah, definitely. I yeah. mean, you can tell just from the picture. I mean, I'd be itching like crazy. Um, yeah. She had her face looked like that for the better part of 20 years. I mean, she was, wow. at her, yeah, she was at her wits end. Um, Wow. And, and I mean, she was in tears, you know, the fact that it helped that much. I mean, she, she was in yeah. 30 days. It's gone. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still shocked, honestly, about that outcome, but I'm glad that it helped her. And, you know, she's still taking it, her formula to this day because she doesn't want it to come back. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's the other thing, uh, the cost that I keep, dodging that but not on purpose but we were talking about you know isolate and uh full spectrum and broad spectrum yeah and i myself had taken cbd oil uh that was broad spectrum or full spectrum um it was yeah you were taking full yeah 1500 yeah. i think was the milligrams yeah 1500 and it was around uh 140 200 uh per bottle like this yeah and after talking to Chris, I remember we were on speaker with you, Chris, and you're yeah. talking about everything we're talking about tonight and so much more in great detail, knowing that what you have is even way more special than just CBD oil off of the, the countertop, if you will, yeah. is, is my wife then said, OK. And without really waiting for a big thing, she was like, so, Chris, uh, what are we looking at for costs? You know, in my mind, I'm thinking RSO six grand for 90 days. Right. Yeah. And you came back and you said, uh, it'll be uh, 200. And I'm thinking, dollars? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally said out loud, I just, and I remember this, I said, that's it? <laughs> yeah. You paused for a moment and said, wow, that's it? I get a lot of people that tell me that's too much. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. If they knew actual CBD oil costs that isn't even specially formulated, doesn't have the extracted cannabinoids like you have done, the 17 yeah. and put them together in the proper uh, mixture along with the terpenes and everything else that goes into it. And, and your love and care, you physically put the, you formulate these yourself individually. Oh, yeah, all, everything's handmade. Yep. I'll and do so, everything myself. Think about this. Uh, and this is to everybody out there, $200 a month. Would that be worth it to cure your cancer? Would that be worth it to get rid of your, your uh, arthritis uh, or the, the skin t conditions and or the skin conditions that go with it. How right. about pain? We have a question about pain here. Uh, have you created formulas for lower extremity nerve damage slash pain? Absolutely. Yep. Um, actually, the one that you were showing, um, that relief, uh, if you see the bottle, it says relief. <clears throat> when I first created you know those formulas i created four pre-made formulas i created um you know relief which was for um neuropathic uh, muscular joint um you know all, all different types of pain and then i created relax which was for basically anxiety and depression um and created revive which was for focus memory retention energy and then I created rest, which is for um, insomnia, you know, people that have trouble sleeping. And, you know, when I make custom formulas for people, 
I essentially take, you know, the label that I think, you know, fits, you know, fits the formula that I'm making. Um, so when I made the formula for you and your wife, you know, that's going to give her relief. Um, so that's why I use the relief one. But the relief that's on my site is, is made specifically for neuropathic pain, um, muscular pain, joint pain. Um, and then if you want, you know, you can reach out on my site through the chat function. It goes right to me and I will customize it to you specifically. You know, you tell me your age, your weight, you know, your diagnosis, your symptoms, uh, the medications you take, um, food allergies. For, uh, for example, Brian's wife had a food allergy. Um, all the stuff I had made up was um, with MCT coconut oil. Um, I had to go out and get uh, MCT palm kernel oil. So now I have special ingredients just for her formulas um, here. So, you know, I, I try to make sure that I can adapt to everybody's, you know, needs. And and you're so uh, um, easy to get a hold of. And I don't want to cause a landslide of people calling you and, and taking fine. up all of your time. But yeah. uh, it's something called a diagnostic quiz right on his website. And so you can go through and basically explain what's going on with yourself, like he just mentioned, through the chat interface. Yeah, that will that will show you what terpenes will work best for you. Um, I'm actually working on one right now for cannabinoids and supplements as well. And so it will be everything all in one, but that is a lot of coding. <laughs> I'll bet. And then, so, I mean, this says 24 hour seven customer support. I can attest to that. My yeah. gosh. You know, you're on the East Coast, I'm on the West, and there was one point I was texting you, and I know it was past 11 p.m. your time, and yep. you responded within minutes, and I, I didn't expect it. I expected all oh, you'll get to me tomorrow. And no. I was like, holy smokes. No, so I, I always answer my phone, and uh, on top of that, like when um, somebody purchases a product, I ship it priority mail. If they're in Massachusetts, they get it the next day. Um if they're, you know, in California, like you, it's probably like two, three days tops. You know, sometimes I, it, I'll even do um, overnight shipping for free if it's a special case, you know. So. Yeah, and I just want to implore upon people, don't try not to take advantage of this guy uh, and, and ask for stuff like that up front. Me personally, I will pay extra uh, just to keep you rolling if, it, if that's what it comes down to. No. Uh, because what you do is so important in my it's got to be everyone's opinion now that that knows that what you do gets results. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lisa also said currently on intrathecal, I guess as I say, MS04 pump and wanting to wean out op opioids. Yep. Yep. I have gotten a lot of people off opioids, benzodiazepines, um, you know, all Neurontin, um, SSRIs. I mean, that, that's probably a daily thing, too. I get calls about people wanting to get off medications. Um, that's becoming more and more prominent. And that's why, you know, at the beginning of the show, you were talking about, you know, why isn't this legal? Why, you know, why can't you say this? Why can't you say that? And I said that big pharma, I think has a lot to do with it. And that's why, you know, I, so many people just want to get off their medications. They tell me they're on 15 different medications and they want to get down to one or two, or they want to get down to none. Man, I can't, you know, tell them stop taking your medication, but they can, you know, use their own discernment and, you know, as they start to feel better or they go to the doctors and they get better test results, they, you know, they know what they need. Um, and if they don't need it anymore, then so be it. Then they're just taking a dropper under the tongue a day, you know, that I think that's a lot better than taking 15 different medications. You know? Absolutely. And, you know, yeah, we, we won't take us down that rabbit hole. But big pharma, you know, they're gonna be—they're gonna. The reason they don't like this, one of the big reasons is this is literally taking money out of their pocket. Hundred percent. And I, for one, am more than happy to do that. Um, <laughs> because, I mean, my gosh, I have a good friend of mine who take who put gets an injection and does this quarterly, and I can't, I think the number was $20,000 per injection. We're talking about a little bitty uh, thing, a syringe, 
that I know what you have can help him. Yeah, you're and, telling me about him. I remember. Yeah, yeah. And so it's unbelievable what big pharma charges because they can because of insurance and every it's just a big rabbit hole like i yeah. said earlier but in the in the onset we talked about so many other things um you know about what you have addressed with different formulations cancer is one of them it's the big c right uh parkinson's yeah. was another so uh talking about trembling you talked about that just a little bit ago that he was calm in no time uh, yep. Crohn's, Crohn's disease, epilepsy. You had a story about epilepsy, I yep. remember. So, um, I'm sure yeah. that. So, actually, this came from an a you know business acquaintance of mine. His brother lives in Thailand, and he's married to a Thai woman. And um, you know, she's a very small, petite uh, woman. She's about eighty-five pounds, um, and she had severe epilepsy that also manifested in the form of neuropathic pain. Um, and she was having, you know, up to five seizures a day. And, you know, on top of, you know, that terrible pain she was dealing with. And so, um, you know, the business acquaintance got in touch with me. I, you know, got in touch with them, which is a 12 hour time difference. So that was another um, call that was late at night. Um, but I talked to them, created a custom formula. It was very difficult to get the product into Thailand. I had a, you know, claim that it was essential oils and, you know, fake invoice and all that. But um, got that over there. And after she was taking it for four days, um, she stopped having seizures. And after um, two and a half months yeah after two and a half months she went to see her doctor and you know her neurologist and her neurologist cut all her medications by 50 percent, so cut everything in half and mm -hmm. um then after another three and a half months she went back and they took her off her medicine completely so she doesn't take any other medications now except for my formula <laughs> that i created for her no seizures, no, no pain. She's completely fine. I mean, it, and we, we can go on again all night with all of the case studies that I like to call case studies of yeah. the types of conditions that Chris has directly helped people with. And you saw the picture of the, the nice lady before with all of those horrible things all over her face, the sores, the scabs, the, it looked it looked painful and then yeah just a short 30 days later clear after 20 years yeah and, it's insane and so i i just please if, if you maybe you aren't the one if you're watching or listening maybe you don't have any of these ailments and and thank thank the lord if that's the truth and that's the case yeah. but i would be willing to bet you know somebody who does whether it be someone you love or a friend or even just I mean, I learned of somebody who I met twice uh, many years ago, and I learned that he was suffering from neck cancer, uh, cancer on his neck. And I reached out to him and gave him your contact information. I Thank don't you. care who it is. These are human beings. Yeah. I mean, I do care. That's what I mean. Uh, but I don't have to know them to spread the word about this life-saving gift that you have for them. Mm -hmm. Another thing I want to touch on is you were talking about Rick Simpson oil and, you know, people hear cancer and they automatically go for Rick Simpson oil or um, FICO, which is full extract cannabis oil, which, you know, a lot of people think they're the same thing. And they they basically are. They're just two different extraction process um, processes. But um you know, people, like I said, they automatically default to that. They hear cancer, they say, get on RSO right away. Even with animals, um, you know, I treat animals all the time. I'm treating a few of them at the moment that have cancer. And, you know, I see people saying, oh, give, give that cat RSO. And then I jump right in, you know, on Facebook or wherever it is and say, no, do not give the cat RSO because they have about a hundred times the amount of cannabinoid receptors we have, and that will kill the cat. Wow. The amount of THC. But, um, you know, people think that the, the high, high amount of THC in RSO is what kills the cancer. Now, that actually can help, but honestly, I think, and I have information to back this up, that it's the 
other minor cannabinoids that are found in the RSO. Because it's a full extract, it actually has about 20% CBG, which I was saying, you know, inhibits angiogenesis. It has about 15% CBC, um, which causes the apoptosis. And then it has the terpenes like the limonene, um, which I was talking about. Now, if you go and you just go buy CBD oil off the shelf, that's going to have less than, you know, 0.1% CBG. So there's hardly any, like there's a trace, trace amounts. So when you go from, you know, smoking cannabis or whatever and having just trace amounts of these, you know, great cannabinoids and you go and you have something like RSO that has 20 percent, you know, that's a big jump and that's going to you know make a big difference. So I honestly think, you know, as time goes on and we research more and more, they're going to see that it's the minor cannabinoids and not as much the THC. You don't need to get high and, you know, like like you said, you know, with the RSO, it gets you so high that you can't even do anything. Uh, you don't need that. You just need the other cannabinoids and let them do their job and they'll take care of the cancer. You don't need the crazy amounts of THC. I love it. And Lisa agrees. She feels better just listening, she said. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. I, and, um, you know, normally this show runs an hour and I know you're on the East Coast. There are, there are several things I'd still like to address, but I, I totally want to be uh, respectful of your time, Chris. Are you willing to go a little bit longer? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Because I got uh, questions coming in, I think, that are important to address for people that are watching and listening. Uh, Jason Nass, my good buddy, says, can you help treat high blood pressure with this? Actually, yeah. So um, there was a new cannabinoid, and, and this is why it's important to stay, you know, up on the latest research and whatnot. Um, it's probably the second newest cannabinoid that they just discovered um, probably about four months ago. It was called CBM, cannabimovone. And that was actually discovered by some Italian scientists out of Carmagnola, Italy. And um, that actually came from a strain of hemp called Carmagnola. Um, and that, you know, that cannabinoid, CBM, actually can control your um, blood pressure. It can regulate your A1C count, um, can help um, regulate your metabolism. And that's just the newest cannabinoid, but also, you know, going back to what we know already, you know, that everybody knows about CBD and whatnot. Um, the main purpose of taking CBD is to promote homeostasis in your body, is promote balance. So um, when you start taking CBD, like, you know, somebody might take CBD for pain, you know, they got a bad elbow or something. Um, and after a month of taking it, oh, they go to the doctors and their A1C count and their blood pressure is much better. Um, it, so it just, it balances out everything in your body. Um, that's what your endocannabinoid system is there for. It's there to, you know, just keep everything balanced in your body. And you'll see that, you know, you'll have a lot of unexpected outcomes, um, not bad, <laughs> good ones. Um, <laughs> you know, you, you, when you take different cannabinoids, you know, you're going to start experiencing things that um, you didn't even know that was wrong. You know, like you might start, you know, sleeping better. You might feel better. You, you might not think that you sleep bad. You, you know, you might think that you sleep fine at night, but then you start using CBD for, you know, pain or, you know, something like that. And you start sleeping better. You um, start having more, you know, vivid dreams, um, you know, because you're getting into that, you know, deep into that REM sleep phase. Or, and then you, you wake up feeling less groggy because, you know, in REM sleep is when your body, you know, repairs itself the most. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that um, cannabinoids can help with. I mean, with the terpenes that I have and the cannabinoids that I have and all these different supplements and vitamins and whatnot, um, I can basically put together combinations to treat almost anything. Um, mm. And I pretty much have done that. Um, it treated quite a bit of different, um, you know, ailments. 
that's phenomenal. Uh, and yeah, Jason said, yeah, lower blood pressure and more sleep. Yeah, who who doesn't want that? My exactly. Goodness. Right. Yeah. Especially, you know, these times with COVID and everything, um, you know, it, it, it's a crazy time. Everybody has anxiety right now. Everybody's having trouble sleeping. Everybody's having high blood pressure. Um, you know, so everybody could use some of these custom formulas. Um, I even make one uh, called Immune Plus, which um, it's an immune boosting formula. And, you know, I make those, you know, different formulas, but I can actually take each one like so like I told you I have the rest formula for example that helps you sleep and then I have the immune plus I can combine those two together because everything's handmade and made to order so when somebody you know you know contacts me and says hey I need to sleep better but I also want to boost my immune system I can combine two things together and now they have their own custom formula there you go yeah. And there they are right here on his website. There's the Immune Plus, and it's got Relax, Rest, and Revive. So I, I'm guessing Rest is to help you get to sleep. Revive yeah. is to help you wake up. If you, if you look at um, my like reviews on Google and my reviews on Facebook and stuff, you, it almost looks like the Rest is all I make because um, you know so many people are reviewing that one um, because it is – my number one selling pre-made formula um you know when i say pre-made just like you know one that has a set you know set ingredients to it um i do sell those ones online and i do have wholesale contracts with other people you know other stores and stuff um and that's how they can carry my product because obviously they can't just carry a bunch of different uh ingredients and make stuff up as people come in um, so I had to come up with a few that people could put on the shelf and I'm actually up to 10 different formulas now. I have the pet formula, um, let's see, pet, which is, uh, comes in bacon and chicken. Um, I have a Delta eight formula. Um, we touched on Delta eight THC, didn't we, Brian, before? Yeah, we did when we were talking, but not on the show. Yeah, not on the show. So, um, you know, when you use cannabis, um, when you smoke a joint or eat an edible, you know, whatever your, you know, form of intake is, you know, the main cannabinoid that most people are after is Delta 9 THC. That's your, you know, quote unquote, everyday THC. And that's what, you know, gives you that psychoactive feeling that's, you know, that euphoria. And um, there is another, you know, there's multiple different types of THC that a lot of people don't know about. Now, in my formulas, I use Delta 8 THC, and also I've just started using Delta 10 THC. Now, those are actually made um, through a conversion process um, that they don't really occur naturally. They, they do in very, very small, small amounts. But um, if you want actual usable amounts <laughs> of, you know, Delta 8 or Delta 10, you have to convert it um, through chromatography and um, what that does. So Delta 8 THC has all the medicinal benefits of Delta 9 THC, but none of the drawbacks. And so, you know, Delta 9 THC, when people smoke a joint or whatnot, um, you know, they can get paranoid. They can get anxiety. It will exacerbate nerve pain sometimes. Um, it can actually inhibit REM sleep. Um, Delta eight doesn't do any of that. And it's about 10 to, it depends on how it's formulated, but it can be between 10 and 30% less psychoactive. So it doesn't like, you know, hit you in the face, you know, it's a very subtle high, it's clear headed, it's focused. And, um, honestly, I prefer it more than Delta nine. I look at it like, um, Delta eight is more medicinal and Delta nine is more recreational. Because with Delta-8, I can formulate that in, you know, somebody's tincture to not produce any type of euphoria, but give them all the same medicinal benefits from Delta-9. And you can't really do that with Delta-9 THC. Hmm. And so, quick question on Delta-8. Will that show up on a drug test for those that need to be worried about that? Yes, it will. So, it when 
they do a drug test for THC, they're looking for the metabolites of THC. They're not looking for, you know, Delta-9 itself. So when you um, ingest Delta-8 THC, it metabolizes exactly the same as Delta-9. Okay. Yeah. So just good for people to know in case, you know, they are frequently yeah. frequently given drug tests at work or, or for yeah. whatever reason. Uh, so just to know that. And then for questions like that and how to use alternative uh, approaches, reach out to Chris. Uh, I know he'll have different ways to attack this and make it work for you. Uh, here's a great question from Lisa uh, Testa again. How long does it seem to take for the supplements to begin working? I like how she called it supplements. She's on it. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Um, so <clears throat> you, I have, you know, different strength formulas um when i make custom formulas for people i like to either do 1500 milligram base formula of cbd or a 3000 base formula um reason for that obviously is because i you know i believe that you should have cbd in there but also i have to put a milligram number on it um you know that's how people shop you know they want to see you know how many milligrams is it now even if it's just 1500 or 3000, that's not the final number because I might have 3000 milligrams base CBD, but then I add 500 milligrams of CBG or, you know, 200 milligrams of Delta ATHC. But regardless, anyways, back to what I was saying with the 3000 milligram formula, which is what I recommend to most people, um, you would take that twice a day for five days. And after those five days, your CB2 receptors in your endocannabinoid system would be full. And that's when you would get the maximum efficacy from it. But you would start noticing a difference um, after the first couple of days, you know, probably two days you'd start noticing. It, it really depends on what you're using it for too. If you're using it for something like anxiety, um, you might notice a difference right away um after about 10 minutes um if you're using it for something that's you know systemic throughout your entire body like autoimmune like crohn's that might take you know five six days before you start noticing a small difference and it might take a you know a full month before you start noticing you know a big difference um you know it depends and and then on top of that everybody's different everybody you know uptakes you know things different it metabolizes different um you got to, you know, try it yourself, but I usually use the five day mark, um, as you know, when your CB2 receptors will get saturated. So I, I use this as a rule of thumb. Tell me if this is good or not, but I, I always tell people after what I've researched and listened to you is to give it, give it 90 days to fully start, you know, realizing there's a change going on. Because like you said, some are internal and it's more difficult to, under, to realize something's happening. With that woman, of course, it's pretty visual, yeah. but not everyone's uh, condition is externally, uh, it's not something we can prove or say, yep, it worked uh, mm -hmm. beyond a shadow of a doubt. You know, it could be, well, I started, I started, I stopped drinking sodas, so maybe that's why I feel better. Maybe yeah. it wasn't, you know, so I just tell them, give it. 90 days, 90 days seems to be a sweet spot for everything in life, business, everything. Uh, what mm -hmm. do you think? Is that too long to give it uh, a go or? No, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, you know, you might start treating like, for, for example, say you start taking it for anxiety and you start noticing a difference right away. But if you start taking it, you know, the whole time, all the way for 90 days, by the time you get to that 90 day mark, you're gonna notice that it did this, 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 and this that you didn't even know it could do, you know? Like you're gonna notice that, hey, I, my, you know, knee doesn't hurt anymore, or, you know, it's gonna have all these great unintended side effects that are good side effects, not bad, so. <laughs> side benefits, we call them, yes. Yeah side benefits <laughs> yes so yeah definitely um you know like i said you know certain things are systemic you know certain things are you know just you know like um very easy to treat and very quick um but yeah definitely give it its fair shake you know give it a little time to work throughout your body and you know you you'll definitely won't be let down and you know for those of you that are on medication uh, just think of the the future of this for yourself maybe after three months you can wean yourself off those medications and what is the price difference think about cost 
you know, 200 a month versus what are you paying for multitudes of medications? Even if you do have insurance that has a copay, uh, it still yeah. can be a considerable amount of money above and beyond a measly. I mean, what do we spend on coffee a month? I don't, I haven't quantified it, but probably up there. Uh, we yeah. get high end coffee. We probably spend uh, easily a hundred bucks uh, a month for coffee. We drink a lot of it. We love it. Uh, <laughs> but it's a, uh, you know, more than one person drinking, but you know, mm -hmm. if you just put it in perspective, this is your health. This is your, this is your everything. <laughs> okay. Question. This is a, a humor script, but question from a friend in the room. Can you drink beer and take this too? Absolutely. Yep. Actually. So <laughs> that's actually funny. Um, one of the terpenes that I use is called humulene, and that's also found in hops. So um, that actually, what that does, the property, you know, medicinal properties of humulene is that it's 23 times more effective as an anti-inflammatory than anything that's sold over the counter. So wow. it will give you all those anti-inflammatory properties without damaging your liver. And when I'm talking to people, you know, that, you know, want a consultation about um, arthritis or pain, you know, joint pain, things like that. Um, I tell them about humulene. And then I say, have you ever seen, you know, an older gentleman, you know, maybe, you know, 70, uh, 60, 70, you know, whatever. Um, and he, you know, probably has pretty bad arthritis or something. And he might have, you know, one or two beers. And after he has those two beers, he, you know, limbers right up. And a lot of people will think right away that it's the alcohol, but yeah. really it's, you know, the hops, the humulene playing a big role in bringing down his inflammation. Wow. And yeah. I, I know, I know Jason personally, he does not drink and he just uh, sent this next comment in <laughs> celebrations in the room erupting now. <laughs> That's so yeah. funny. Get that humulene. So before we call it a night, there was another thing that we talked about, you and I on the phone, uh, that I found so intriguing. And that was, you. Th this is a miracle plant. It, it, that's what I'm calling it. It's a miracle plant. I, I had no idea. I mean, the only thing people think about or know about is the negative side of it. It's marijuana. It's illegal. Well, it used to be in most states. Uh, yeah. It's federally illegal. Uh, but the other things it can do beyond just helping us internally directly, you, you called it a bioaccumulator yeah. and talked about how it was used in, in the farming industry. Is that, do I have that right? Yep. So actually um, it, you know, cannabis or hemp, either or doesn't matter. I mean, they're basically the same thing. Um, you know, when you say hemp, really all that is, is cannabis that has been bred to have very low THC and, you know, high CBD, um, unless you're talking about industrial hemp, you know, that's made for, you know, grown for fiber and whatnot. But even that, um, when people plant that in their fields, it's actually a bioaccumulator, or you can also call it a phytoremediator. So it actually sucks up whatever is in that soil. So any heavy metals, any toxins, and it cleans the whole soil. Uh, cleans the whole field. So, you know, back in the day, uh, farmers, after, you know, every couple rounds of, you know, corn or wheat or whatever they were growing, they would grow hemp for six months and clean their field. And then they'd have nice, clean soil again. And then they'd plant it back, you know, start planting their crops again. And I was telling Brian that, um, you know, that big uh, nuclear meltdown in Japan, um, the way they're cleaning that up, you know, because all the radiation spilled over into the Pacific Ocean, they're actually making man-made islands uh, with hemp, you know, planting hemp all over the islands and then pushing them out to sea. And that is sucking up all the radiation. And I mean, then you have a radiated hemp plants. Um, they have to dispose of those. But that is the reason why um, most people tell you and I would tell you too is that you always want to make sure that any CBD or you know, any cannabinoid product you get is manufactured in the U.S., you know, grown and processed in the U.S. and also grown organically because you get stuff that comes out of China and stuff. You could be getting a radiated hemp. You could be getting um, something that's grown in a field that has, you know, lead and mercury or, you know, you, you never know. And you could be doing a lot more harm than good. 
So you, you want pure, uh, clean hemp. Great point. And it, didn't you also say that the the farmers that that it was banned that they could not do that for some time? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so it was banned um, back in the oh god the the, the actual year is slipping me. Um, but it, they banned it back in the 40s, I'm pretty sure. And um, then they brought it back um, during World War II um, for uh, Hemp for Victory, which they were um, allowing people to grow hemp again um, to, you know, make money, you know, textiles and whatnot. And then they took it away. And then back in two, 2018, they made it legal again. But I actually attribute all this stuff like people, um, you know, these these Ill, uh, ailments and illnesses that are becoming more prominent, um, you know, things like autism or Crohn's and celiac, um, you know, things that you didn't really hear about, you know, 60 years ago. Um, it's because back then farmers were growing hemp and, you know, the animals on their farm were eating the hemp. And then we were either eating the animals or drinking their milk and we were getting cannabinoids. Now that farmers weren't doing that for, you know, 60, 70 years, um, we weren't getting any cannabinoids. And a lot of this um, information and research out of Israel, they think that a lot of these, you know, you know, new ailments that are popping up and being becoming so prevalent are because of a deficient endocannabinoid system. I find this so incredibly interesting. Uh, it's, I, I mean, with all the evidence and I, I, we could go on forever and, you know, I've been scrolling through, I took, I don't know how many pages of notes when you and I spoke. So I've been scrolling through those as we're talking. Uh, there's so much more. Um, oh, there's also, you know, it, the, the, there's the oil that you ingest uh, through your under your tongue. You just let it sit there mm -hmm. for, you know, seconds, 45 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. There's also a topical that helps with pain and it's a CBD, you know, laden with CBD. Look, it's got 1800. Is that 1800 milligrams? Yeah, 1800 milligrams of CBD, 500 milligrams of CBG, um, 200 milligrams of Delta 8 THC. So you see how it says 1800 on the label, but it's really 2500 milligrams of cannabinoid. Yeah. And then there's, you know, a proprietary blend of terpenes, 27 essential oils. Arnica and calendula for muscles, uh, camphor and capsicum for warming, uh, menthol crystals for cooling, and even a little bit of lidocaine for numbing the pain. So, I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you know, you know, this guy was pretty intelligent, you know, when you find out he's got a master's degree, right? And it doesn't even matter what the master's degree is in. That takes some serious work and it takes, you know, I, in my estimation, above average intelligence. I'll just say that. And so, uh, yeah, you're, you're an amazing guy, Chris, and what you do Thank is you. amazing. I am so blessed to have crossed paths with you. And, you know, the way I found you was by, by literal accident. I thought you <laughs> yeah. were another organization and I was referred to by a friend. He goes, oh yeah, I know who that is. After I researched someone from Massachusetts, it wasn't the same person. It was you. Thank the Lord, because, uh, <laughs> you have taken this to an, in a, a much more extreme level and i want to get the word out about you and by the way everyone watching stick with us we have two gifts to give you and we're gonna do that right now but i wanted to set something up real quick chris yep every person i bring on this show they're all entrepreneurs they're very successful uh and success is is a word and what i wanted to do is i like to ask every single one of them the same exact question to close out this show and okay. it's, a, it's a very uh powerful question not because of the question itself but the answers that uh i get in return and i can't wait uh to unload it on you and i i mean that in a nice way don't worry it's it's not a big deal okay. uh you're gonna love it and you're gonna crush it on the answer because because you will i just know who you are um real quick the giveaways so let's start off with that five nights day at a five star luxury resort compliments of the big and a little secret, that's my good buddy, Jason Nast, who's been on here commenting throughout this evening. He's always supported myself, my business, my family. He's an amazing, dear friend of mine. And look, he's giving away 
on behalf of him, because of his company, we can give this away to you. A five-night vacation stay. So if you have a cell phone handy, pull it out right now and take out your uh, fire up your messaging app where you would text message someone. And I'll bring up the information on the screen. And what you want to do is where you would put in the name of the person you're going to text to. Instead, put in this phone number. It's 314-665-1767. Again, it's 314-665-1767. And then where you, where you would actually type in the message, you know, that's where you put your emojis, stuff like that. The, no emojis, just put in two words separated by a dash or a hyphen if you prefer. The two words are peak, that's P-E-A-K, dash vacation, peak dash vacation. Go ahead, do that right now, and then watch your phone. You'll get an automated response asking you for your email address. Once you supply that, our system will then instantly enroll you and put you in uh, to our random drawing, and we will announce it later this evening who has won that. Uh, wonderful gift, and thank you again, Jason Nast, and the Big Insider Secrets .com for that amazing gift. And then there's this amazing dude next to me who has uh, also offered something up. Do you remember that, Chris? Yep. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will offer um, a bottle of my rest formula. Um, I find that that uh, just can apply to everybody. Everybody needs uh, a little help sleeping once in a while. Um, and so, yeah, we'll be giving out a bottle of rest formula, 3,000 milligrams of that, 500 milligrams of CBN, which is, um, you know, the sleepy cannabinoid in lower doses is great for anxiety. Um, and I'll send out a whole ingredient list and whatnot. And um, then, you know, if everything goes good from there, we can create a custom formula. Sweet. Jason wants it. He also said uh, he's also known as the big insider. And to do that, they need to email you. Is that correct? One person, one lucky person will become the winner of that. I'll put that on the screen. Yeah. And so you, what you want to do is email him, uh, Chris at thistlethera.com. And thistle is spelled T-H-I-S-T-L-E. And then T H E R A, so yep. short for therapy.com. Chris with a C H. Got to put that in there too. It could be a K, right? Yeah. Kringle. Um, so definitely email him and uh, maybe just put mind body business or the mind body business show in the subject line. And that way he knows that you're uh, entering to win and just say, pick me. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> and then, Chris, I would love for you to let me know who won that so we can also shout that Hello. out. You know, and show because look, it's it's two hundred dollars, but it's worth more than that by far. It's weight in gold by far. It's not only going to help cure you, but it's made with absolute love and care by this amazing guy. And I'm not joking around. That that is amazing. How much his passion shines through, and what he does to help you and everyone else. It it just warms me all over to know that there are people like Chris Thistle in this on this earth who are out there helping people. He's not in it for the money. But my, my vantage point is I want him to make an insane amount of money. Why? Because he can then take this operation, scale it, and spread it far and wide faster than he ever could, uh, ultimately. So, And I know that's how he will take, you know, Chris, you have my permission and everyone else's to make a boatload of money. Enjoy yourself. Take some time off. Go get a supercar, whatever whatever floats your boat because you deserve it for all the people you're helping more than anybody. Uh, most people on this planet, you deserve that. And so please uh, make a ton of money and we'll do anything we can to help you get there so that you can continue this uh, well into the future. Well, after you're even on this planet and I'm on this planet, let's keep this, this uh, gravy train rolling and get people off of their medication, more importantly, healthy and keep them alive for their loved ones and for yeah. friends and associates. So, I can't thank you enough. And we do have that question. I didn't forget about it. So okay. I'm not the hook. Just, just, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay. Here is how we're going to end this show. And thank you so much for staying on an extra half hour. My gosh. Uh, and we needed to. This was, yeah, this was big stuff. And uh, I can't wait to share the aftermath of this with the videos, the podcast. We're on 25 podcast platforms. Uh, so definitely share share this in, in any way and every way you can uh those of you that are watching and listening because uh we need to get the word out about 
thistlethera.com, Chris Thistle, and everything that's going on here. All right, regarding that question. So the thing is, uh, Chris, it can be a little bit personal. Um, okay. And the good thing is, there's many good things about it, but one of the good things is there, there's no such thing as a wrong answer to this question. Okay. It flat out does not exist. It's impossible to answer it incorrectly because the exact opposite is the truth. And that is the only correct answer is yours. Yep. That's the only part that makes it personal. Cool? Yep. So if you're ready. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Chris Thistle, how do you define success i would say the number of people cured definitely um i know i'm successful when um i have cured a bunch a bunch a bunch of people um i'm just getting started and i want this to be spread you know onto every continent if possible um and just treat all the different ailments that you know present themselves in front of me and that will be success mm. 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 you know i haven't done it all night but that is a bomb dropping moment yes <laughs> knowledge bombs bombs of wisdom everything you can imagine uh, i appreciate you chris uh, for those of you, again, watching, I, I just plead, please share this. Please share this video, this podcast, uh, whatever form you are now watching or listening it in. Please share it because more people need to know about the amazing life-saving formulations and uh, things that Chris brings to the table. Uh, you know, I'm a product of the product. I'm not here to make money off of anything. I make nothing. I make not a dime. I'm here to help you to learn how you can save not only the life of yourself but those of your loved ones and those that you may just know need help and you may not even know them that's okay uh so there i'm just showing a couple of things that we have here at the house and i appreciate you thank you for helping us chris uh thank Thanks you for helping that. my family my my parents and i can't wait to hear the more success stories directly from them as well as others that you are helping to treat uh thank you my brother i appreciate you man Thank you, too. Thanks for having me on. You bet. All right. That is it. It was a long one, but a very good one. A very phenomenal show. On behalf of the amazing Chris Thistle, I'm your host, Brian Kelly of the Mind Body Business Show. Until next time we meet, have a great, great evening and rest of your life. Until then, so long and God bless. Thank you for tuning in to the Mind Body Business Show podcast at www.themindbodybusinessshow.com. My name is Brian Kelly.